Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I'll say a huge welcome to you. So today will be a product review. But before we get into this video, if you haven't already, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss another upload from me. And let's get into this review. I received these products complimentary of Elor. They sent me out three boxes of lashes. This is their new No Glue Needed Elor London Pro Magnetic Eyeliner and Lash System. Five minutes application, 15 wears, and long lasting. I'm gonna pick one, one I'm gonna test out for today. The idea behind these are to get the lashes on faster. As you can see here, there is a liner, but it serves dual purpose as the magnetic lash strip and they do have magnets on the actual lashes. So they sent me out three lashes. One is Fox Me Accent, which is just a tip. So it's not a full lash. The other one is Fox Me Wispies, good for, you know, every day. And the last one is Fox Mink Volume. So these are actually very long. These are a lot longer than the Wispies. So for this look, I think I'm gonna go with the Mink Volume. They have a how-to on the back of the packaging so you can go there to find a how to apply these. But honestly, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You put it on as you would your eyeliner and then you would attach the lashes. I do like this concept. I'm gonna open that up. And once you get it open, the first thing you see is the instructions. So it comes with these instructions. I have tried magnetic lashes in the past and the difficulty level was pretty difficult. You had to sandwich the lashes together and it just didn't work for me. But I've been curious to try these new lashes. I've seen them in the store and I was really curious to try it and I'm so glad I was lucky enough to get to try these. I'm gonna read the steps and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the application. Step one, apply liner and allow to dry. Step two, apply two more coats of liner. Step three, apply magnetic lash to liner. Easy as one, two, three. Let me go ahead and show you a close up of the lashes on the strip and liner. Be very careful when you're removing these lashes. I'm trying to see if I can get your eyes a close enough look at the magnetic strip on the lashes. So it has about four magnetic strips, one on the corner and then two in the middle. The lash magnetic liner is black and it looks like this. Check out the tip of this. So it's pretty much your standard lash tip, which I actually like these. I feel like I have more control with these. So we're gonna apply that. Do keep in mind when you're using anything on your eyes, read the ingredients and be cautious of any kind of allergic reaction. Now I have really sensitive skin, so I'm hoping this doesn't break me out. So we're gonna just see. Now I'm attempting to get as close as possible to my lash line. Now you could definitely do this with one stroke and do the actual three coats. I Me, mean, I'm a bit heavy handed, so I'm gonna let this dry down. And then do this additional two coats. Now that this works, this be perfect if they could do it for the bottom lash. I wanna say the average dry time for this, it's pretty much like a standard line and dry time. Maybe a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second coat. That dry and last coat. I already applied three coats of the eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to put on the lashes. Now, this is a pretty thick band, which I do love. So let's see how this goes. This is with the lashes, and this is out. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one on off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I got both lashes applied. And to be honest with you, I actually really like them. I will say they're pretty lightweight, but they do feel like when you put your lashes on, use glue, and it feels like it just sucks to your eyelids and it's just snug. It's not going anywhere. But well, these feel like a little loose as if like you used to put on a wig without the straps or without the combs and it just feels a little like unsecure, but it's on. 
that's how I feel with these. So they, they're they definitely on. And I feel like the magnet, liquid line of magnet is pretty strong because when I put it on, this, this eye I feel adhered a lot better than this one. I don't know if it was a dry time. Maybe I needed a little more coat. I don't know what it was, but this one looks flawless. It just stuck on, no problem. I like it. Hopefully I don't break out from the magnetic lash liner, but I do like it. I would suggest using some mascara underneath just to blend it in because it doesn't blend in like you would your normal lashes. You guys tell me what you think about it. That's the application. I will definitely be using these more often and it was pretty quick. I will say the dry time was about a minute and a half per each coat. So I guess that's where you get the five minutes and it was like a minute to put on both lashes after the application of the magnetic liner. Now this is absolutely gonna be perfect for somebody who just has a lot of issues with just applying their lashes. I think this is a really good product for the price point. I believe it retails about $15 per pack and you get 15 uses out of it. I mean, you can't really beat that. I really, really suggest for those of you who struggle, that last struggle, this would be perfect for you. I want to say a huge thank you to Elor for sending me out this product to review. Guys, if you've tried Magnetic Lashes or tried this company's Magnetic Lashes, please let me know down in the comment section and I'll sure to get back to you. I'll leave all information and link the purchase down in the description box so don't forget to check that out. So if you would like to stay up to date with me, I have numerous ways for you to do that. You can head over to Instagram at Annette Beauty, on my Facebook group, Visionaries of Beauty, and you can hang out with me some more. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and always stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty next time. Bye.